Let me take you through Gendo's 2024 goals. It's February and you might be feeling a bit disconnected from those New Year's resolutions. This is why I saved this video for this month. This is our first video for the year. I had to take a short break. How are you? How is this year treating you already? Let me know in the comment section. Before we get into this video, I just want to wish you a happy new year. 2023 was an amazing year. And in 2024, I wish you a year of ease, clarity, financial success, and overall happiness. Let's say it's December 31st, 2024. You are looking back at the year and instead of wondering where the year went, you are celebrating all the incredible things you've achieved. How do we get there? It starts with a plan. So like this video, subscribe, and if you're new here, my name is Mfon Akpan. On this channel, I share content on career, side hustles, personal development, and faith. If these are content you're interested in, welcome to my little corner on the internet. I hope you stay with me. So the first thing we want to do is review. Let's reflect on the past year. What worked, what didn't. Take a moment to acknowledge your successes and learn from your challenges. So grab a journal and let's get introspective. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Get a notepad and a pen. I'm waiting for you. Now let's look at your goals for last year. Which did you achieve and which are still a work in progress? Because the mistake we often make is to think that, oh, it's a new year. I need a new goal. I need new goals. All things are passed away. No, you don't. Not necessarily. Yes, if you had achieved all your goals, then you need new goals, obviously. But if there are still goals that you didn't achieve, we need to go back to the drawing board, friend. It's essential to address what worked well and what may need adjustments. Your goals are dynamic, just like you. So reflection is your GPS that will guide you to your true north. Take the time to understand yourself, to understand your strengths, to understand your weaknesses and everything in between. This self-awareness will empower you to make informed decisions for 2024. And remember, no one is a yardstick for this review. Nobody's success should be a yardstick for this review. Nobody. Next up is setting the actual goal. Now you've done your review for 2023. What do you want to achieve in 2024? This can be daunting and overwhelming sometimes because in your head, you have so many goals. You want to achieve a lot of things. No, you cannot achieve everything you have in your head in just one year. It's okay. Let your imagination run wild. Think about the kind of life you want to lead, the kind of person you want to be, and the impact you want to make. Now, you can categorize your goals. Think of them in terms of personal growth, career, relationships, health, whatever speaks to your soul. Be very specific. You don't have to list 100 goals. And don't take this lightly. Don't do this carelessly. This is your life we're talking about. Yes, you have to take it seriously. Take yourself seriously. Proverbs 21 verse 5 says, I'm going to be reading from NIV. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. You know, I love message. So let's take a message on this one. Careful planning puts you ahead in the long run. Hurry and scurry puts you further behind. This verse draws a powerful contrast between two approaches to planning, diligence and haste. It's a reminder that the way we plan and execute our goals significantly impacts the outcome we achieve. The plan of the diligent, those who carefully and consistently work toward their goals, lead to profit. On the other hand, haste or rushing without careful consideration can lead to poverty. So you want to take your time and plan. You want to take your time, sit down and plan your life. You're not planning for someone else. You're not planning the life of another person. This is your life. So don't list 100 goals that you know at the end of the year, you'll not even achieve one. Diligence isn't about being busy. 
oh, I have a lot of goals. I'm so busy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It's about being intentional and persistent in your efforts. Do you just want to be busy? Ask yourself, do you just want to be busy this year without results? Let me share a strategy that will work for you this year because I'm on it as well. Write down 10 goals. Choose three and focus on these three from this February to June 2024. For example, let me take you through Jendo's 2024 goals. So these are Jendo's goals for 2024. Exercise regularly, improve reading habits, acquire new skill, self-reflection and journaling, quality time with loved ones, get a remote job, financial planning, pursue opportunities for career growth, learn new hobby, get a new phone and a laptop. <laughs> okay. All right, now Jen Do is going to choose three goals that she's going to focus on. Let's say improve reading habits, or getting a remote job and financial planning. Now Jen Do is going to focus on these three goals from February. 2024 to June 2024. You can pause this video and do this on your notepad. Now set specific, measurable and actionable milestones for these three goals and attach an outcome to them. A why, if you may. One of your goals is to read more books. A milestone and outcome could be reading 10 non-fiction books by April so I can increase my knowledge and be able to talk about several topics with others. Rather than just writing down, I want to read more books or I want to increase my reading habits. If it's career related, saying something like securing a remote job and working with international companies so that I can increase my income stream and earn in foreign currency by May. For financial planning, you can write down something like develop a comprehensive financial plan, including budgeting, saving, and investment strategies to secure a future financial well-being. That's the why, the milestones, the intentions, the outcome. So now let's talk about the how. How do you start reading or how do you improve your reading habits? You start by buying books. So send me a DM on Instagram and I will give you my book plugs, both for hard and soft copy books. I got you. I bought nine books in January. <laughs> this is because I discovered a bookshop in my city. I've been looking for this for like two to three years and I finally did. It's not my fault. So that's it for your goal of improving your reading habit. Now for career or getting a remote job of skill acquire the skill required in the role or field industry that you want to work in revamp your resume i have a resume template for remote job and the link is in the description optimize your linkedin profile this is a step-by-step -step process on how to optimize your linkedin profile but if you want to work with me directly send me an email or reach out to me on instagram and let's work together in rebranding your professional profile finally subscribe to this channel if you've not because i have a number of remote job opportunities on this channel that you can explore and apply to the roles that you're qualified for so subscribe if you've not and turn on the notification bell because i'll be posting more remote job opportunities for you set a target for yourself in a week apply to at least 20 and use linkedin to your advantage but first optimize your linkedin profile you can do it yourself with this video or let's work together and let me take that off you okay for your financial planning you don't have to do anything complicated just use google sheets to track your income and expenses let's start from there trust me you'll be surprised i started doing this last year yeah yes january 2023 i started tracking my income 
and my expenses. Why I prefer Google Sheets is because you can download the app in your phone. So if you're not using your system, you can always key it. Of course, you'll be going around more with your phone. So you can always key in the things you're getting. You can always key in the things you're buying. I started using the system last year. Even if I'm getting a pen, I will key it in. Even if I'm getting a time, data, everything is in the Google Sheets. Each month, I'm able to track my income and I'm able to track my expenses. This will help you identify the things you spend your money on, help you re-strategize and cut down on your expenses. Some of these things are not necessary, but some of them are like my data. I need my data to work. Just do this. Be intentional about it. Go to Google, type Google shit, and there you have it. Key in the different items, your income, your expenses, your savings, your investment let's just stay on that four and you will not be disappointed instead you'll be surprised at the things you spend your money on <laughs> so you've done your review for 2023 you've set your goals for 2024 now let's talk about accountability share your goals with your friends your family or even our amazing growth tribe here you can do this in the comment section. Having a support system keeps you motivated and on track. And let's talk about the ripple effect. When you share your goals, you're not just inspiring yourself. You are inspiring others too. It's a beautiful circle of encouragement and empowerment. Next up, you need to put God first. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 says, I'm reading from NLT. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will direct your path. This is a call to surrender all our plans to the higher wisdom of God. We can't do this on our own. Our understanding as humans is limited. This scripture encourages us to trust God completely, submitting every aspect of our life to him. The promise, he will guide our steps, making our path straight. Another scripture that comes to mind when I am planning, it's Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. Let me read that from message. Message says, we humans keep brainstorming options and plans but God's purpose prevails. This verse is a humbling reality check. We all have our plans, our dreams, our aspirations. Yet, in the grand scheme of things, it's God's purpose that will ultimately prevail. For five, embrace change. While you take intentional time to seek God's guidance in your planning, be open for his redirection. Life is unpredictable and that's okay. Embrace change and be flexible with your plans. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.